Hello stampers. Today we're going to make a really fun card and I hope you'll enjoy the technique that I'm going to show you. It's not one that I think many people have in their repertoire. Um, so we're going to have a go. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a two-tone 3D um, image from using um, embossing folders. So we're going to <coughs> sorry, make a friend's I like seashell themed card, so the seashell. Um, and we're going to use the stamp set, the matching seaside seashells um, dies, as well as the 3D seashells embossing folder. Now, if you really love the technique that we're using today, which heavily uses this folder, it's actually free until the end of the month with a $90 purchase. You can choose this as your celebration um, freebie. So if you are in Australia, and you would like to um, like to redeem that, jump over to my website, laurencollis.stampinup.net, L-A-U-R-E-N-C-O-L-L-E-S. -L -L -E -S. So my surname is like Coles the Shop, but two L's and two S's. That's an easy way to remember. Um, so let's get this um, show on the road. So what we're going to do is I'm going to colour this image so that when I run it through the Stampin' Emboss machine, Everything is going to come out just about, you know, all done. It's going to be beautiful. So the first step we're going to have a look at is thinking about our embossing folder. So what I need to do is think about the way that my image is, my, my stamp is going to be. Now, I want my, um, I want my shells to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The curve over, not be, um, not valley, I want them to be mountain. I guess that's what, I feel like there's a proper maths word, concave or convex, I don't know. You guys know me, I'm not a real maths brain. So um, we're going to have a think, okay, I'm thinking that when the shapes press together, um, the raised part is going to push the, push the paper through. So I want the side of the image that is actually the valley because then when it pushes through, it's gonna make my paper mountain. I know that sounds confusing, but think through the logic, run a sample through if you need to, to work out which side of the embossing bottle we're going to do the coloring on. The next thing you're going to need is some, <clears throat> sorry, some of these little daubers. Now you can see that I label mine using a label, a label maker. That way I'm not cross, crossing colors. So we're gonna use Balmy Blue and Pacific Point and a bit of crumb cake. And I haven't labelled this one yet, but it's soft suede. And I just remembered I didn't get out the da 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 pear pizzazz one that I want to use. Pear pizzazz. <clears throat> so there's pear pizzazz. Okay. And th looking at my image, okay, I've got lots of sh lots of shell. I've got shells. I've got some seaweed. Um, I've got some dots like bubbles. Okay, I'm not going to worry too much about the bubbles, uh, but we've got some shells and things there. So you can choose whatever colours you like, um, but I'm going to go with, um, stay there, everything's just falling on me at the moment. I am going to start with crumb cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my crumb cake dauber and I'm going to pick up the ink onto my dauber. You can check that you've got some ink there. Um, and I'm going to st start with um, my shells. So I'm actually going to put the ink straight onto the um, embossing folder. Okay. And I'm thinking about my colors and where I think the colors will go. Okay. It doesn't matter if it overlaps. It really doesn't. Okay. I just want to make sure that most, if not all of my seashell is colored. Right, while I'm here, I will do my other seashell. The great thing about embossing, um, coloring straight onto the embossing folder is you can wipe it off if it goes where you don't want it. You know, you can use your finger or a cloth or something. Okay, um, to um, wipe it off. Okay, you can see I'm using um, the same color for all of them. You don't have to do that. I am doing it for um, expediency because we're on a video. I know you guys don't want to see me swapping out a million colors. Um, so I'm going to move to soft suede. So soft suede, it's a darker color. So I'm thinking, you know, thinking back to how we do color, it's going to be 
where there's a bit of shadow. So maybe on this inside bit, it's going to be on the inside of the conch shell around the edges. So I'm sort of doing um, a lot of angles so that I'm not getting, I'm just sort of getting the edge of some of those. This one, I'm just going to do the top down to the one side slightly and then up on that side. I know it doesn't look like very much here, but it will. It will look amazing. All right, there's the shells on. The other thing is stamping onto the plastic is it's not going to dry in a hurry, which is great. Okay, old olive. Not pear pizzazz, old olive. So silly. Yeah, old olive. So it's important to label these before I put them away, which so I will do that after I finish recording the video because I don't want to get murky colours. I want them to be as true as possible. Okay, and I'm, not, you know, you could spend all day um, colouring the, doing the different greens and doing whatever, but, um, you know, wait until you see what this looks like. So I hope you've taken advantage of any of the celebration promotions that you're keen on. Um, and did you see that I shared on Facebook at the beginning of August um, that there were some new choices for celebration? So if you've already got what you liked out of the first release, um, there are more to choose from, um, like the daffodil dyes, um, this um, embossing folder. Um, so you can jump over to my website, which I get, which you know is my name, Lauren Collis dot stampin up dot net um to check those out um and i i'm a facebooker so a lot of my updates go on facebook so if you'd like to look for me on facebook just look for stamping in the tropics um that's what my blog and my youtube channel and my facebook are all called so i've tried to be a bit consistent there um and if you can't find it you should be able to if you can't find it send me a private message um, and I will send you the link. All right, so I think we've pretty much got the cupboard there. So, um, now, here's my piece of white card I'm going to stamp it with. I'm just gonna move that to the side. My little hint here is I'm actually going to spritz it with some just some tap water. Not a huge amount. I just want the paper to really... Um, sort of move with the embossing folder and suck up some of that water and it should do that um, beautifully oh look that's not gonna work is it okay you guys are just gonna have to trust me that I'm doing the <laughs> I'm running it through the sample and emboss machine all right so what I'm doing now is putting my slightly damp paper and now this is where we don't want to be moving it so that's why I've put the color on top so that I can hold it okay now I don't want to move it at all okay um, now I need to where are my plates got? so if you've got a stamp and emboss machine you will have seen your base plate um, the one plate and it tells you the combinations so this one is a 3d embossing folder so I just need plates one and four so plate one and the grey one is the number four. Sandwich those together. All right. And this is what it looks like. So this will just be cleaned by wiping it off with your um, with a wipe, or you can wash it up in some washing water under the tap. See, it just, the ink just wipes off, which is really good. So let's put that to the side to dry. Okay. Now, this doesn't look overly special, does it? It, But it will get better, I promise. Okay. So here we go. We've got our image. We've got um, our seashells are clearly brown. We've got our seashells, which have got some green tinge. It's going to look really good. Um, now... You got a couple of options here for adding some shimmer. We have got Wink of Stella, which is what I'll probably use today. 
Um, there is another product. We don't sell this anymore, I don't think, but if you've got some of this floating around, um, this looks amazing. So you might have seen, you might have seen this card that I made where I did the same um, technique, but it's got a shimmer to it. So that's the, um, for those of you who haven't seen it, that's the, um, the shimmer. It's just, it looks pearlescent. It's so pretty. Um, so it's an older product. It's retired. I couldn't see it in the catalog. Um, sometimes it's worth having a look on the website though, but I'll leave that with you. You might be able to pick some up in a D stash or something if they're not still available. Um, that was really fun to use. And I just used a, a damp paintbrush for that. And I just colored the, um, the shells at this stage. Okay. So I left it in full and then I just colored the, um, shells with a small paintbrush. But today I'm going to use the Wink of Stella because I'm keen to see what that looks like. So I can feel that my paper's pretty dry now. So I'm just going to just run this down. And I can already see, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the sh It's got a sort of a glitter to it. No, it's very hard to see, is it? I promise, it's there, it's beautiful. It's it's different to the, um, the all-purpose ink that I showed you a minute ago. This one's actually, oops, it's like it's got glitter through it. Oh, that might be a bit easier to see. Yeah, you can see that a bit better. Awesome. So, I know that shells in real life don't really, a lot of them are very plain, but, um, I want them to stand out. I want them to look a little bit like they're wet in the ocean. Um, the trick, oh, yeah, that's what I was about to say, was the trick with Wink of Stella is not to press um, too hard because you'll end up with dollops like that. All right, can you, oh, look, you can see the shimmer now. So you see this one's not shimmered yet, and these ones are. So I'm just going to, whoops, run that through. Oh, this looks really good, guys. Oh, yes. Get yourself some Wink of Stella. I love it. Okay. Oops, there's a hair on it. I do not know how my dog hair gets everywhere because he is not even over here. But it's like he's just saying, I'm part of your crafting, Mum. I just love it. All right. So we've got our beautiful, beautiful shells. Now, you guys have heard me talk about this before. The great thing about Stampin' Up! is so many things match. Look at this. Ta-da! It's going to match. We're not going to stress about this overhang. Everything can be fixed in craft. There are no mistakes. Just a reason to add something new. And if it really does get... Um... D uh, goes beyond what you f feel like you can use you know a big blurt or something of ink it's just paper you know just start again it's just paper and when you guys come to my craft noon events most of the time there is spare everything and if there's not spare of a certain color oops if there's not a spare of a certain color i can assure you that i've got something that will work for you because we are here for a good time, not a hard time. And so I try to make everything as stress-free as possible. So. Uh, uh, all right. Let's have a look. Oops. All right. Here we go. Some bits popping out. Okay. The other thing I wanted to ask you guys, whether anybody's keen for me to start the online classes again. Like they were popular while we were all in lockdown and then they're kind of not as popular as people got used to going back to their lives and their social commitments and things. Um, but if you're interested in starting those up again, um, please let me know because um, I will put some serious thought into it if not for the rest of this year for next year um but i only want to invest that time into them if people are interested because i may as well be doing you know if you 
you know, no one do the online classes you want to come to in person. I may as well put the um, the energy into making some really incredible in person experiences for you. Um, I'm really keen to um, over the next few years start running some retreats and some um, stamp camps and oh, all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, so here's our. You know what? Think back to what this looked like when we f when we first came out of the embossing folder and we went, oh, yeah, it's not really that special. But look at it. How amazing. And the light, I really hope that you guys can see it because I can see how beautiful it is and I'm worried that the light's not showing it, but it's really quite pretty. All right, the next thing. So this is the base card that I prepped earlier. And you know what? If it doesn't work for the card, we'll just do something else. That's okay. All right. So I, I did organize a Pacific Point and um, balmy blue background. But what do we think about the white? I think the white is a bit plain. Does it make it stand out or does the blue make it? I feel like the blue makes it stand out more. Shall we go with the blue? Kind of looks like beachy, uh, like under the water. And there was, I did have another idea. I didn't prepare one earlier. So we're just going with what I feel like at the moment. There is, there was some brown to do a bit of a sandy. I don't think we need it. What do you think? Do we need it? So if you feel like, I'm, I'm probably not going to use it, but if you feel like you would like to put sand on yours, this is just torn. I've cut it to the width of the balmy blue and then torn it. That's all that is. You get, I often will ink the edge too to make it stand up. Um, I did a layout ooh, a while ago um, that I can dig up if anyone's interested where I actually used a lot of the torn edges and the different browns and greens behind a photo to make it look like the beach and then the waves. If you're keen to see that, let me know and I'll pop that up on the Stamping in the Tropics Facebook page. No, I quite like that. Um, so we're going to need a sentiment. We're going to need a sentiment. Um, I think we should do happy birthday. What do you think? Happy birthday? Yes. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend. And a shout out to you if it is your birthday this week. It's my sister's birthday today. I haven't sent her a message yet. But I will. I will. <laughs> I'm terrible. I keep remembering at the most inconvenient times. Does that happen to you? Like, I work at a school if you didn't. No, I work at a high school. And I remembered in the middle of a geography lesson. Like... I can't text her now. Brain, you know, park that. You we're going to do it later. And then I forgot at lunchtime, you know. I'm just going to stamp this again because it's just a bit smeared. I just want to see if I can get it a bit better. That's a bit nicer. Okay. Because, you know, if you don't like the first one, you do it again. No mistakes. Just learning. Now, here's another another trick for you. I don't ever rely on the fact that I've stamped something straight. No, no, no. I use these lines in the guide as, as a guide. So I'm actually lining up the edge of um, that bottom of happy birthday with this edge, this runner piece where the grooves of my blades are sitting. And I can see I've actually have cut it quite straight. Um, but you sort of get used to as well of what the um, what the cut like how much margin you're going to have as well. So, and then now that I know that that line's straight, I'm going to just turn it around. Oops, I'm going to. And you know, if in doubt, just cut a little bit off at a time until you're happy because. It's not something you can stick back on um, and have it look like you meant to do it. All right. Happy birthday to my beautiful friend is there. Um, okay. So let's stick this down. I've already stuck the blue to the base. We're going to... 
whoops use some of this fine tipped glue i love this stuff i highly recommend you get some of this um because it's like really good for rhinestones and ribbon and sort of some of those smaller embellishments but it also gets right into some of these fussy bits and i don't know about you but i don't like to have um like glue visible so if you feel like you need to um very briefly wipe the thing that you're gluing down onto a scrap and that will take away some of that extra glue that you don't want on your card you know in half an hour i'll come back and just um, add a little bit extra glue where it's needed okay. so i'll probably put something heavy on that um, when I am done. Okay, so we've got the um, the sentiment. I'm going to put that up on dimensionals. So there's no waste with my dimensionals. I snip the edges off and we use this as well. birthday my beautiful friend and then from the um july to december mini there are some no um some colored gems fine sparkle adhesive back gems that match the um the gnomes i'm just losing all my words today they match the gnome suite so i'm just going to pick up um these specific point ones because they match my background and these will take the place of some of those bubbles, which are going to be fun. Oh, look, I've got, <laughs> there's um sparkly stuff everywhere from the, <laughs> from the swing of Stella. Oh, dear. All right, one up there. And remember, an odd number. Like, if you're going to use an even number of anything, it's got to be so perfect. Because just one will look um, off if it's even slightly off. But, so I've got four on there now. I'm going to do um, how about one on a shell. Okay. So if you haven't seen this before, this is the Pick Your Tool tool. Um, very versatile. I love it. All right. So I know I already put some under that, but I'm going to just put a little bit more. Now, I've already done the inside of my card with the um, little bits and pieces. I'm going to make the envelope match. Now, this is worth watching because we're going to do something very similar. We're going to do something very similar to what we did with the embossing folder. We're going to use the daubers again. So this time, I, we need the stamp, pack, stamp set. So the stamp set is... The stamp we're going to use is this... Um, I don't know what they're called. Are they called conch shells? I think I called it a conch shell before, but I'm not sure that's accurate. I'm um, not very knowledgeable about shells. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we've got, we're going to start with this shape. I'm going back to the crumb cake. And we're going to do pretty much what we did before, which is daub on the colour. Now, this is not as easy to see if I've got ink on it as the embossing folder. So if in doubt, do a test one onto your scrap and then re-ink. Just make sure I'm actually on screen. All right, so going back to my soft suede. And remember I was using the edge um, to do the, the um, shell. All right. Now, this time, because it's a little bit different to the um, embossing folder, I'm going to just huff on it, which just re-moistens the ink and stamp it down. So I'm not going to worry too much that it's a little bit faded. Nothing in nature is perfect. I think that's just fine. Um, I'm going to then take the, um, the starfish because, remember, I'm making it match my um, image. 
my, my inside. And I'm going to do that in Pacific Point. Alright. Now, another tip I've got for you is to have a little torn piece of um, scrap paper. Because you can use that to cover up your image so you don't get um, the overlap. So people who came to my gnomes crafternoon on Saturday, we used um, a similar technique, but with um, post-it notes. It's the same, same, same idea, really. All right, putting Pacific Point away. Last thing is we're going to use the old olive. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of seaweed in the background. And we're going to just lay it over the... Um, shell there now see that wasn't very difficult and what i've done here is i've matched the inside of my card to my envelope and you will notice that i do that on many of my cards the dog has come over to say mum it is my dinner time what are you doing all right so this is the card put together okay so there's the front there's the inside Here's the matching envelope. And I have to say, if I received that in the mail, I would be a very, very happy birthday girl. Guys, just as a quick reminder, celebration ends at the end of the month. If you really enjoyed making that and you would like to have your own embossing folder to do this technique with, it's free with a $90 purchase. So if you bought the stamp set um, and the dies, you would, you would be able to get this um, for free, which is a great little saving, um, or restock your card or whatever you need to do. Um, we have got the craft expo on Sunday. Come and see me at the Atherton showgrounds social stamping the following Saturday in Atherton. Um, so if you're in the tropical North, uh, make sure you, um, get in touch to, um, get all the details for that. They're all on the stamping in the tropics, Facebook page and community group, um, on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining me and I really hope this has inspired you. If you felt inspired by this card, please join my community group on Facebook and share your version. Um, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments below. Happy stamping, everybody. Bye.